Hi, it's Rob here with another video and uh, this afternoon I was playing a bit of music, relaxing uh, and I was playing this album Super Furry Animals Radiator and it got me thinking about album artwork and um, illustrated album artwork so I picked 10 of my favourite illustrated album covers so Pete Fowler is the guy behind the Super Furry Animals album artwork. Since the second album and up to Hey Venus, he's the guy um, who does these great covers. And when you're listening to the Super Furry Animals, it's all part of the listening experience. I don't think um, you put the Super Furries on and just put the album down and, and listen to the music. I think you, you, get, you, know, you stare at the album artwork I know I do, and I'm sure a lot of you do as well, because the the sort of created world that um, Pete Fowler comes up with on his album artwork is um, one of my favourites. So I wanted to show um, the Super Furry Animals Radiator, and I wanted to show 10 of my favourites. So Pete's probably my favourite, and probably my second favourite will be Jamie Hewlett, the guy... Um, who came up with the idea of gorillas with Damon Albarn. So I think Jamie's as important as um, Damon when it comes to the gorillas. Um, the two go hand in hand and the characters that um, Jamie's come up with for the gorillas artwork. Um, again, everybody that listens to the gorillas um, looks at the album artwork and Jamie's got a, a book coming out in uh, November that I'm sure will be well worth checking out. The third artist is Jason Galea. Uh, follow him on Instagram and he's the guy who does a lot of the artwork for King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard. Uh, another group whose um, illustrated artwork on the album's is a big part of the listening experience. We all like cartoon characters, etc. And um, the majority of the album covers for King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard um, need plenty of attention. And again, whenever I play King Gizzard records, uh, I spend a lot of time uh, gazing at the album artwork. And uh, this album, Fishing for Fishes, is certainly no different. The fourth artist is um, Kari Andrews. And he's a cartoonist and a writer. Um, a guy who's um, worked on Spider-Man, etc. And um, he did the artwork that turned the Beta Band uh, into superheroes. Uh, on this album Heroes to Zeros uh, and you know I really do like the Vita Band um, one of my favourite Scottish bands but uh, when this album came out you know it certainly stood out on the racks and it's another one that um, I really do like another one of my favourites is uh, Corky McCoy and that's the guy behind On The Corner so Corky, um, he did live with uh, Miles Davis for a while. Miles went round to his apartment and saw his artwork and loved it. The two got very close. Uh, Corky also does the artwork for the Water Babies. I think that album came out in the mid-70s. Uh, but I, I fell in love with the artwork for this album before I even heard it. But it is my favourite Miles Davis album. Uh, and when every time I play it, I do reach for it because I know I'm going to pull it out and have a look at this artwork. So, yeah, Corky McCoy and On The Corner, another great piece of illustrated album artwork. Uh, do you know who Wayne Coyne is? So he's the lead singer with Flaming Lips. Uh, and he's uh, the il illustrator, artist who came up with the um, album artwork for Yoshi Battles the Pink Robots 
And as you can see, the young girl, her shadow is a bird. That's pretty interesting. I don't know the significance of the number 25 on the wall. Um, the robot's got sort of extra legs coming out. This has come out on a box set. Um, I'm very tempted to get it because it's, it's 20 years old, this album. And it's um, one of my favourite albums of the 2000s. Um, and I've looked at the box set and there's some really interesting artwork there. So that probably might push me into picking it up pretty soon. I'll show it on the channel if I do buy it. But yeah, another, and it's a singer of the band Wayne Coyne who came up with uh, the artwork for this album. Another musician whose artwork is usually illustrated is uh, Fella Cootie. And um, this album is uh, Suff Suffering and Shimmering. Uh, from 1978 and it's Kenny Adamson I'm not sure how many pieces of artwork Kenny did he's a cartoonist a bit of an icon in Nigeria but he's the guy behind this album from 1978 and I do have quite a lot of Fela Kuti albums and the artwork is always you always spend a lot of time uh, looking at these images fascinating absolutely love them so yeah, Kenny Adamson, um, the guy behind certainly a few of uh, Fela Kuti's album covers. James Rizzi is the guy behind the Tom Tom Club albums. So in the early 80s, I was um, a big fan of the Tom Tom Club. I loved the track uh, Wordy Rapping Hood and Genius of Love. But the artwork... Uh, I didn't know anything about James Rizzi, he's a guy who lived in Brooklyn, a guy who's fascinated with the um, the skyline of New York, but he his style really suited the Tom Tom Club, and um, again, you can look at this picture a hundred times and see something different, also on the back. James Rizzi died in 2011, but uh, the people who love his work, still get a lot, of, a lot of enjoyment from it. Two to go, and um, Drawn From A Memory is by Tommy Penton. So Tommy Penton is um, a London-based um, illustrator, artist. He's the guy behind the, um, I don't know if you know the CD collection, Back To Mind, uh, the artwork on that series. But um, this is the second album by Embrace. And I've always loved the, the artwork. Certainly in the Tommy style. Uh, Embrace from Huddersfield. Quite a decent size indie band in the early 2000s. I know they played Blackpool and Coldplay supported them. So that's how big they were at the time. But I've always really loved this album cover. And the final illustrated album cover is one that I just picked up for a pound. And I just bought it for the album artwork. And it's U-Boat. Um, and it's um, Woody Woodmansey. <laughs> so he was the drummer for David Bowie on the Ziggy Stardust um, period. Between 1970 and 73, Woody was the drummer. Um, and U Boat is an album that came out in 76. I just bought this for the cover art. Don't know much about who did it. If you look in the corner, it says cover design by Cream. Um, but when I saw it for a pound, I just picked it up just simply for the um, artwork. Um, when I, I played it once, I, I just thought it was rubbish. I played it tonight, actually, out of interest, and it, it was a little bit better than I, I first heard. Sort of um, middle of the road rock, really. Nothing too groundbreaking. But the album artwork is certainly pretty spectacular. So 10 illustrated album covers. Just something a little bit different. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any comments about what I showed, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and bye for now.